Zim's Madden 2 HD, and to celebrate the opening of Guardians of the Galaxy, we've got some new toys to show you. The movie hits theaters on August 1st. Last time we showed you the new Disney Infinity figures. Today we have the Funko Pop bobbleheads. We have Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, Groot, and Rocket Raccoon. Star-Lord is 47, Rocket Raccoon is 48, Groot is 49, Drax is 50, Gamora is 51. On the back it shows all the ones you can collect. We're just missing number 52, Star-Lord without a mask. On the bottom it says not a toy, but it looks like a toy to me. I think what they mean is not to throw them around too much. Okay, so let's open these up and give you guys a closer look. First up, we have the leader of the Guardians, Star-Lord. This guy's name is Peter Jason Quill. In the movie, he steals a mysterious orb, and he has to assemble the team to fight Ronin. This bobblehead has the mask, and he's got his guns, and you can see his hair on top. He has his rocket boots, but they're black, not silver. And he also has his knapsack. He has an elbow pad on his left arm. And of course, because he's a bobblehead, he can shake his body and his head will do this. In the movie, he's played by Chris Pratt, who you may know as Emmett from the Lego movie. The description in the movie says he's half alien and half human. He says the character is a mix between Han Solo and Marty McFly. Okay, next up we have Gamora. She has green skin with black and purplish hair. She's got her cool black outfit on, and she comes with a silver sword. It says she's an orphan from an alien world, who is trained by Thanos to become the deadliest woman in the galaxy. In the movie, she's played by Zoe Saldana and has to wear green makeup for the role. Next up, we have Drax the Destroyer. This guy's head looks like a marshmallow. None of these figures have mouths, and they have really small noses. He's got really big muscles. He comes with two daggers and some cool black pants and boots. In the movie, he's played by Dave Bautista, who you may know from the WWE. He's a warrior in search of vengeance against Ronin. They look like the tattoos, but they're actually scars. In the comics, his skin is bright green, but in the movie, it's more gray looking. Next up, we have Groot. And this one looks kind of cute, but in the movie, he's really big. He has some branches growing out of his head, and this guy actually has a mouth, but he's missing a nose. But I've never heard of a tree having a nose anyway. In the movie, he's played by Vin Diesel, who provided the voice in the motion capture. And it says he's 100% deadly and 100% sweet. His arms look like branches, and his legs look like tree stumps. I hope there aren't any termites in outer space. And the last team member we have is Rocket Raccoon. It says he's a bounty hunter and a master of weapons. I really like the details on his head. You can see all the little hairs. And he's got mean looking eyebrows. He's got a clenched fist and a gun in the other hand. He has really small raccoon hands and big raccoon feet. And his tail swings to the side. Bradley Cooper did the voice for him in the movie. So those were the bobbleheads from Funko Toys. And make sure to check out the movie when it comes out on August 1st. Do you guys want to see it? Looks like they're excited. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Click here to check out the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer.